Hello everyone. Let us evaluate the same expression by using one address instructions. x is equal to a plus b into c plus d. You know, one address instructions you can find in single accumulator organization. In single accumulator organization, it is essential to understand that we have no local registers, no general purpose registers. We do have only one general purpose register that is accumulator. So every time an updation has to be performed, the updation should only be performed on accumulator for that the variable should always be transferred to accumulator. When you want to update a variable, that variable should always be transferred to the accumulator. Now let us see how we are going to evaluate this expression by in a single accumulator organization by using accumulator. Let us see. Initially, let us perform A plus B. First, I am going to execute one instruction called load A. What is load A? In one of the previous sessions, we discussed about load and store instructions. Load instruction will transfer the contents of a memory location to accumulator. A store instruction will transfer the contents of accumulator to a memory variable. Load A meaning the contents of A will get transferred to accumulator. Store A stands for accumulator contents will get transferred to the memory location A. Now we will use load and store instruction in order to evaluate this expression x is equal to A plus B into C plus D. Load A accumulator will get the value from A. Now I will say add B the contents of the accumulator will get added to B and finally the contents will be available in the accumulator. Now after performing load A add B accumulator holds the value of A plus B. Now I need to perform C plus D also. For C plus D also we need to use the same accumulator. For that we need to make the accumulator free right now because the accumulator already held a content that is A plus B. If we directly perform C plus D in the accumulator, the previous contents A plus B will get erased. So in order to avoid that, we will transfer the contents of accumulator in one of the memory location. I will use A in this case. I will use store A. Now, contents of the accumulator, which is actually A plus B, will get transferred to A. Now A holds A plus B. Now the instruction will be one and the same again. We are going to say load C, accumulator holds C, then add D. Now the accumulator holds after this instruction, accumulator holds C plus D. A plus B is available in A, right? After the fourth instruction, rather the fifth instruction, accumulator holds C plus D and memory location A holds A plus B. Now I can directly perform a multiplication. That is MUL A. When I say MUL A, accumulator is equal to accumulator into A. You know that in the one address instruction, one operand will be specified within the instruction and the other operand is always accumulator. So MUL A stands for accumulator is equal to accumulator into A. What is accumulator? Accumulator held C plus D. A holds A plus B. After this instruction, accumulator holds C plus D into A plus B. But finally, the contents must get transferred to X because the expression that is needed to be evaluated is X is equal to A plus B into C plus D. For that, 
we are going to execute one more instruction that is store x the contents of the accumulator will get transferred to x now x value is just nothing but a plus b into c plus d once again just have a look at all the instructions that are going to be needed to evaluate this expression initially load a accumulator will be transferred with a value of a add b accumulator contents will be added with b now accumulator holds a plus b in order to make accumulator free for the remaining operations i am going to use a store instruction when i say store a the contents of the accumulator which is equal to a plus b will get transferred to the memory location a now a holds a plus b let us go ahead with the remaining operations which requires c plus d to be performed for that i am going to execute one instruction load c which transfers the contents of c to accumulator finally i am going to perform add d accumulator's contents will be added with d and finally the contents will be available within accumulator so now after load c add d accumulator holds c plus d and a plus b is available in a now finally i am going to execute one instruction mul a in which contents of the accumulator will be multiplied with a and result will get transferred to accumulator after mul a the uh, the accumulator holds the total product a plus b into c plus d but the product must get transferred to x because x is the destination variable so what we do is we are going to use one instruction which transfer the contents of the accumulator to x that is store when i say store x the contents of the accumulator which is a plus b into c plus d will get transferred to x this is how we are going to evaluate an expression in one address instructions and once again one address instructions can only be found in single accumulator organization in the next session we will understand about zero address instruction we have already seen three address two address and one address but what is zero address without any operand how the instruction is going to be evaluated how the instruction is going to be executed in order to perform one arithmetic operation the minimum number of operands must always be equal to 2 even in the one address instructions case one is accumulator one more is specified within the instruction how about zero address instruction let us understand in the next session thank you